Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're here to review Spree, a Joe Carey film based on him playing a person who wants to be a social influencer. That is the best way of putting this. But if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's on Netflix. I checked this out because someone said it was good. And obviously, with Stranger Things dropping recently, I wanted to see Joe in a different role and a different way of looking at him as an actor. You know, seeing him in Free Guy, a brilliant, brilliant role. Very different from what we see him as Steve in, obviously, Stranger Things. And obviously, now in spree so go check it out for yourself of course hit that subscribe button leave a like and let me know down below if you've checked it out and if you have if you enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it let me know why and enjoy so spree basics of this is he is a spree driver um the name spree actually really is cool because it plays on a couple of names you know killing spree the taxi company is called Spree. And so he, um, you know, he's tried multiple ways of doing like video tutorials, food videos, fixing and building and all these different, it's like a montage at the start of doing all these different videos. He becomes depressed and then comes up with all these new ideas. And he's like, I have finally figured out a way how I'm going to become viral. And obviously we don't know what it is at first. Obviously, if you know what this film is meant to be about, then obviously you'll know, you know, he's a spree driver, he keeps taking in different people, and he basically drugs him and kills him. That is the basis of the film. He plants, I know he injects the water bottles with some sort of drug, um, and then obviously he kills him. And I think this film is, for what it is, it's really good. It's got a really cool concept, but ultimately I was not, rooting for him to you know because of what he was doing i wanted it to be a different type of type of film of where he actually wins at the end of the film and that obviously ultimately doesn't happen um the comedic girl the names by the way i don't have a clue for names i just know that joe is a spree driver as obviously this guy who's trying to advertise his thing constantly you know he has multiple interactions with different people the girl obviously gets out and she's in a comedy act later um he ends up obviously running over the guy who's annoying us out in the background. To actually realise it was in a Teen Beach movie, uh, I think that's really funny, to say the least. Um, you know, uh, I, I think the, I think it's a funny film. Um, not really much you can say, per se, about it. You know, the biggest thing for me was, and I don't think it was a surprise, when he went to see his friend Bobby. Um, who was supposed to be helping him get views and you know because Bobby's actually popular and you see he has like nine views until, or six views until you go see Bobby of which he earns 50,000 views you know he slaughters Bobby um, which ended up being a very gruesome scene with him being on the floor dead decapitated and all this other jazz um, and then ultimately he starts to kill these other people I mean there's a scene where a police officer gets shot in the head um, that scene was like, what the fuck? Why has she just done that? There was no like um, reason for it. Like, uh, she didn't know she'd been drugged, or um, she didn't know that something had happened to her. She just woke up with the gun and just shot the first thing or person she saw. It was a funny, funny film. You know, David Arquette was in this as the dad, and he ultimately just gets shot at the end. Um, <clears throat> It was a very weird uh, film. I think Joe played it very well because I'll, I'll say you see, there's this entire scene in the car where he's basically like, oh, you know, he stops saying like racist stuff and this stuff and, you know, gays and Asians. He talks about everything that he's, he always supports. And then it's like five minutes later where he kills this guy. And it's like, so you can't comprehend that people are racist, but you're a murderer. It's just, it was such a, um eye opener of a scene because there's probably people out there that, you know, think certain things like that are going, oh, you can't be racist. Oh, you can't be this. And then they'll, they'll just kill him. It's like, well, that didn't make sense, did it? Um, <laughs> I'm going to stand by moral, stand by everything. But, um, yeah, I think Joe captivated what a um, crazed 
person looks like. He's someone who wants this to be their career, but it's the only thing he wants to make happen or come true or whatever it may be. Um, and he just got driven to madness by the end of it. What I loved is there was a part in this film where he went back to the house to see his mother and ultimately he killed his mother. Um, and obviously he killed his dad later on in the film. I think David Arquette, I don't know why they got him cast in this film because he was barely in it. But um, yeah, ultimately this film is a fun ride with a very good leading actor. I don't think Joe's done a bad project that I've seen so far. His ability to play all these different roles and characters and you know, to to be able to act, you know, be an actor, be diverse is what you need in modern day, I think. And I said this for General Tay's video yesterday. She just knows how to jump from role to role to be different people in different movies. It's the best way to be. It's the best way to stay relevant. It's the best way to get yourself as many roles as possible. So overall, you know what? I'm going to give this film about an 8 out of 10. Spree is a good time. Obviously, a very bloody time. A very unique concept that I think that many people need to start doing. More unique concepts because it works. If you get the right cast or crew behind this film or other projects, you'll do well. And ultimately, he got his head bashed in at the end by a phone. <laughs> And, you know, for, is, it Jess, is it Jessica? Is that her name? Uh, Jesse and Adams um, taking the photograph of his dead body. I thought it was a fitting end to the film. But ultimately, I think he should have been the one to kill her. And then just, it just be left on like, this massive cliffhanger of him being out there, still being a rampage, social, massive maniac. I don't know how massive is. But ultimately, yeah, 8 out of 10. Go check it out for yourself. It is an easy watch. Said the least. So check it out. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.